Let's, we're sitting here at winners finals. Oh, doing the nice. rock paper scissors. Aki wins that with a paper over rock. Where are what they a, gonna what go? A good read. What a good read. Uh, so I would think that. Wait, who's banning right now? This yeah, is. You're, gonna, you're just probably gonna see. Some nice battlefield. You're gonna see battlefield probably because I don't think they want to give him Smashville. Um, just because the platform would help out Zygo a good bit, and uh, and Peach because it gives her a place to land, you know. Um, I'm thinking battlefield. They oh they Might took go back Pokemon. their ban, I think. Yeah, go battlefield. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, good old yeah. choice. That's a good choice because they don't want them to have Smashville. I, mean, I think that's why they did that. They didn't want battlefield either. Um, All right, we got Peach and Olimar versus Wolf and Ness. Peach and Olimar, kind of a weird, kind of a weird combo. Both very focused on yeah. perfect spacing and catching you off guard. Very floaty too. Um, Zygo does all those weird movement tricks for spacing like that right there. A little whistle, beer versus yeah. beat turnarounds and wave bounces because he's zany. Accidentally his teammate there, but um, you can see we got a little bit of a 1v1, but it's just converted into a yep. sudden 2v2. Just a nice little very crowd. Fast and that was good of Aki. Aki chucked him off stage and then went to um, punish the Olimar, but they didn't quite nail the punish. That's unfortunate. I think it's a difficult team comp. They went to, like, you can't show up to rescue your teammate very easily. That should be a dead wolf, yeah. Nope. Oh, he's, he's heavy. He's coming back. Oh, a little bit too low. Yeah. Um, no finishing up Olimar. That's the, the last survivor. Um, that was a good dare, wow. but he didn't, um, you know, Bloodwise is smart enough to, you know, not mash jump when he gets meteor. You see, what Bladewise is doing well that I wanted to see other people do is he gets Aki off stage and he knows Ness's recovery is so long. He just yeah, so he runs over to help. help. And uh, Aki did the same thing to Bladewise too. They're, they're both, uh, they both clearly at least somewhat understand doubles. Um, I'm sure they're both very experienced. In an early matchup of Aki and Punkana versus Chief and Zeddy, a lot of times they would knock Aki off and they would focus on beating his recovery. While Again, what we're seeing here is much more effective to just leave him. <laughs> which, is, which is leave him and go combo the wolf, which is so much easier than trying to edge guard Ness. You know? Oh, wow. Sick combo right there. Forward smash to a uh, booty bump. Oh, yep. Takes it with just an easy nair. Uh, it's good that he... It's bad bad for Tyler that he died, that his teammate died on oh. the top, but uh, he's able to stall long enough, so it's fine. And a back here going to finish Great. off Olimar. So we, we got a, we got a pretty clear lead for Aki and Punk Panda, um, but we could see them we could see them bringing it back. Just one good down smash on the wolf, you know. Just one really really good down. Yeah, smash. Yeah, really good down smash. All all the hits. But Aki and Aki and Punk Panda are doing a pretty good job of not getting too close to players, and he's, he's gonna take he's the stock. He's done for that. Now they're on their final. Zago Zago dies to Flash now. That pair would have killed him if it was sweet spotted, but uh, Tyler flubbed it a bit. He didn't jump back far enough. Um, it's a good Whoa, grab. is that? And you see that flash close. almost killed him from across the stage. Uh, and a back air? It. It's gonna finish off Psycho. Oh, poor blade wise. This is his fifth stock. Yep, and he failed to edge guard the nest. That was a little weird. Um, uh, Blade Rise. Oh, getting I don't hit think by the baseball bat. Has the the uh, target switch tools to two v one effectively, but she does have the throws for that. She does. That and throw is so good. Blade Rise. He's got that melee intuition. Very yep. experienced. That's a good good air dodge to dodge that forward air, but it's not going to be enough. He's, 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 he, he should not live this. Oh, oh and getting <laughs> flashed. That was Beautiful. Gross. That was Blade gross. Wise. Blade Wise not phased. <laughs> yeah, he's not surprised. That's exactly how that should have gone. It was really, really a good um, reaction to his teammates set up by Tyler, though. Uh, mm. Punk Panda. Game one going at Aki and Punk Panda. Explosive finish. Yep. But I want to see more of that. Get Aki off. Attack Punk Panda. Focus on being together more. Because Peach and Olimar both, if they get overwhelmed, sure, like, I guess Peach has a down smash. 
and that can I, that can be has out of shield up smash, and that's their that's the best thing they have. But double uh, shield's not too strong. Doubles because of how much just moves are just flying around yeah. everywhere. You're constantly in shield stun, or your shield's too small, whatever. Um, he uh, what what one of the problems is is um, because they're both so floaty and slow. They can't reunite effectively. Yeah. It's really easy to keep them separate. Uh, PK fire to control space, and then Wolf's insane up air. Just make that so difficult for them to reunite, like to regroup and be effective together. That once they're split up, you can see it, it, it takes them a very long time to recover. Yeah. And so they're trying to stay together now, which is good. But here comes the split up. Oh, you make if he's coming back. Aki actually, I was watching him earlier, very effective use of PK fire against Olimar. Because Olimar throws Pikmin, PK fire, damn. Dead Pikmin. The PK, yeah, the PK fire goes live on it instead of just petering out. Um, Interesting. He went for the for uh, how? I mean, Punk Panda went for the forward air instead of an up air on Peach while because forward air does that. Yeah, forward air does that. But he's just a little too low. Yeah, that time he was just too low on the stage. It was good. It was a good forward air. It's a really insane move. It's like knee. Mamba's into it's itself like off of soft. Soft. Fair. Oh, okay, that's nice. It's really good. Um, you'll see it, it'll kill. It'll kill pretty quickly. He almost died to that shine. Yeah, that was. He was going way high with that. Oh, and there. Good answer by Bladewise. Oh, There's very high there. percents right now. Just one good hit. Good ledge oh. grab. Uh, uh, Aki tried to save him, but it wasn't enough though. You can't really... That was basically just raw ledge grab. He just did V-turn around whistle to grab ledge. Oh! Trying to hit him with the baseball bat, but he gets clipped by the down smash. So, with uh, Aki, Aki living to insane percents and Bladewise doing so up until three seconds ago. Um, Never mind. Two hundred and eleven percent, insanely high. So but, it's actually relatively even right now, but I do believe Wolf is going to live probably about thirty percent longer than the, the Olimar. This, this could even kill the Olimar right now. Like, yeah, his, he got him both off the ledge. Recovery. All right, yeah, he, he made it back. back. On. It was difficult to. They were busy fighting Bladewise together, which is also good when you when you knock someone off and they have to recover. Um, double teaming their their opponent or their teammate rather is. Um, as we were saying the whole time. It's a really, it's just really effective. There it is. It's oh, wow, Love barely makes card. it back. Um, that was just unfortunate. If he had done a roll from ledge, that, that was a dead wolf. I think he might have been a oh. little afraid of moving towards Aki. Blade was not reacting to Aki's double jump and getting up, up, uh, up aired. Very strong kill move. It's gonna be, it's pretty reliable in this matchup, just like wolf forward air. Um, Wow, and they're just pushing them, pushing them to the left side. Sick baseball bat. Oh. That was a lot of damage that for was. everyone. That's just, this should be... Oh, great, great save. save by Aki. I was going to say that was a dead wolf, but it was a phenomenal save. And look, he came back and made sure that he could use this stock for, to, to take Zygo's extra stock. So... Um, what was previously even is once again in the in um, the, the more balanced team composition's favor. With um, with a fast faller and a floaty, you get a little bit more mileage. And with despite Ness not being a super great support uh, because he doesn't have good options for that. Accidental off smash. Oh wow. Um, he. You can still see Aki's still making use of whatever he can with that save and applying pressure. Ness's throws are really effective for separating. They are. Both forward throw and back throw just chuck you off stage and it's really unsafe. So we're seeing another 2v1 for Bladewise. This time not getting steal a stock, so that's good. Oh, Flector. Uh, leading up to this point, Bladewise and Zygo were getting super, super overwhelmed. And it was actually insane. They, they couldn't do anything. They're throwing out moves, but they're just getting sandwiched. Because it's because they're so slow and floaty. They don't have anyone to apply the pressure that that needs to be applied so that the slow and floaty characters can do work. You can see, Wolf Wolf does a lot of work, right? Oh but wow, this is actually a it, little he scary. He helps the nest to do more work. This is a nice one v one. It's going to be down. It's going to go for an up air of some sort. No! Oh, oh wow! We did not want that to happen. An air. On an air dodge in any other direction would have been fine. An air dodge in place, but Aki was going specifically for that because he knew that if it works, 
you know, he got he got a nice little payoff. That was interesting because you think maybe Bladewise ran into the the uh, the recovery. I mean, what is it? The, the, the tail, the, the little, the, the tail, ball, or just the ball itself, yeah. the, the thunder itself. But no, he actually landed right on top of Aki the moment his recovery started. Yep, and it's it's really that's really unfortunate. But that was exactly like that wasn't planned by Aki. He didn't know he would air dodge, but if he knew that if he did, that was an easy stock, and that's why he did it because it was pretty safe. I mean, worst case, you hit yourself and you go flying away, and then you reset to neutral with a 70% 70% advantage. So they're running it back to FD. Um, I don't know how amazing this is because both of them are getting juggled really easily. Like Zygo just double jumped and then plucked to stay way too high. If, he, if he'd gotten hit by a wolf up air, it was, it was like a death sentence. Um, oh, good. and a sick baseball bat. It was, it was a good save by Bladewise, but uh, a sacrifice rather than a save. Um, good F throw. Oh, grabbing on But they were both busy. Just a very, very, very hard read. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. He did a down throw and just charged down smash. He knew. It, took, it didn't take the stock particularly early, but it took the stock nonetheless. Oh, both Aki and Punkana off. Now they're on the same stage. side. Uh, Bladewise didn't react in time to that forward air. If he had just done a back air, that, uh, that, oh, that was that was a six save. Got him with a tail. Yeah. So they didn't both have to grab life. This is this is intense. There's, there's a lot of one v one going on, kind of. Um, so Bladewise, you can see him floating in to try and fix that, but look what happens. Look how slow and floaty Peach is. Oh, I'm trying to go for that again. There's such a 151, 155. I'm so surprised I, that up here didn't take it, but... Oh. Both off now. Oh, sick back here to take out Bladewise's stock. Cover the slow double jump. Smart play by Tyler. Um, See, Aki trying to apply pressure with the PK, PK fire. fire. Yep, I saw that. Um, it it doesn't work super well in, because like, like it works well in the one v one, like what's going yeah. on right now. But it doesn't work super well in the, in the sort of like doubles neutral Ooh, scenario, dang. where there's not really a neutral. But committing yourself to like something like a double jump PK fire is just kind of slow. But it, it's not bad if your opponent doesn't dial into that. And so because it wasn't punished, it worked. Yeah. Oh, that the yo-yo coming out. That's actually a very effective save because the, the flinch hitbox went right through uh, Wolf and just hit, and then the knockup hitbox just hit Peach instead. Oh, up air that, that from the ledge. Perfect. But that was a nice down smash by Zagro to come to the landing option. Um, lots of players come down with aerial. As you can see, he came down with a forward air that time. I yep. And. Uh, so Zago covered it like he Ooh. normally would. He just booty bumped. Good tech chase by Zago going over on the right, on the left while uh, Bladewise is taking out his stock. <laughs> going for the flash. <laughs> Thirsty flash. But, I mean, I mean, you land it, it's worth it. Ooh, another down air! Yeah. Uh, oh, he's been landing those so consistently today. What's going to happen here? <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! The juggle! <laughs> he got them both before got he died! Got them both, yep. <laughs> what a legend. 3-0 for Aki and Punk Panda. You know, they were it was close. It was close pretty much all three games.